The orange is in the So we use Oh, I don't like the colors you chose. I don't want this side. I want this side. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. This and put it, and then continue on with the cutting. Okay. Fire. I'm not going to make it right now. <laughs> You're not? Well, no. And if you haven't made your way up here, Birds of Prey, incredible. Um, you can have a close encounter with our feathered friends. And we've got lots of activities for the kids. I'll be sure to stop by the village. We have basket weavers. Our friends over here from um, San Clemente High School lacrosse team are helping the kids make uh, corn husk dolls. So there's lots of things that you can be doing. Talk to people at the booths. Everybody has uh, uh, some great information that they can share with you. And you can just imagine what it was like to live here hundreds and hundreds of years ago. This is a day like, I, I, when there's days like this, my mom used to say, this is the kind of day that our ancestors knew. We've got the clear sky, sun, water flowing in the creek. Um, you're going to hear some traditional songs now. And the closer he got to the butterfly, the more the handsome honeybee started to fall in love with the butterfly. And he fell handsomely in love with this butterfly. And the handsome honeybee, he flew closer and closer. And finally he told the butterfly, won't you fly away with me? Won't you share your life with me? Won't you be my wife? The butterfly hung her head in sorrow and said, no, 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 this cannot be. For I am the daughter of a monarch. And you're just a son of a bee. on the ground that don't belong there. Pick them up, put them where they belong.
I'm part, um, I'm part of the Wadanya Banda Mission Indians, the Hashiman Nation. I'm a lineal descendant of this place, Khan He. This place that means place by the river, or, and it's an ancient Hashiman village. The, this is the place where the uh, Native Americans were living when the uh, Spaniards came in 1769. Her family is so uh, respected in Indian country. Her mother was uh, one of those first activists that knew that sacred sites needed to be protected, and Rebecca has followed in her footsteps. I'm a storyteller and a teacher. When we can come and share the beauty of our history. Earthroots is a nature connection school. Uh, we teach a variety of skills, um, plants for food, fiber, and medicine. We teach animal tracking. We teach safety in nature, comfort in nature, uh, sustainable building. Uh, we have land now. We just bought 39 acres in Silverado Canyon. It's attractive land called Big Oak Canyon. And right now we are um, preparing the land to get fire permits. And we hope to have a sustainable building site there where we have instructors living in Cobb buildings using passive and active solar technologies to heat and cool their homes. Um, with a gray water demonstration, there's also an orchard there. We plan to grow a lot of food. Uh, to teach people organic farming methods there. What we do when we perform dances, it's not a performance, it's basically a ceremony to honor the earth, um, all the elements. So what we do is uh, that we create a specific um, energy. So it's a, it's a ceremony and with our dances we um, gather the energy to honor the ancestors or deities, the creator nature and all the elements. This tradition has been ancient. It started since the Olmecs, 6,000 years ago. It's when they start the cultural dance and sing and chanting uh, to praise the creator and uh, follow the, all the Mexican cultures and be great in the Aztec times, Maya times. And we want to keep this tradition when the Spaniards come, forbidden the tradition for many years, and our brothers Concheros keep the tradition uh, the most they can. And in the last 100 years, it's more open because the freedom, we have freedom to express ourselves like Orangian people. And we rescue the, this indigenous tradition as the Aztec dance, uh, calling like that, because in the Aztec time is when it's more splendor more colors, more uh, complicated dances and music. But this, uh, it, or all our cultures practice this class, the tradition. We are different circles of dance. Um, we get together throughout Southern California. So this is not uh, a specific group, but uh, a group of many. Uh, we come from Orange County, Los Angeles, San Bernardino, basically everywhere from um, Southern California. Me too. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I forgot the other one. It's in there. 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 It's in
that we're going to sing is to honor the women, the life givers, the ones that bring us into this world, carry us for nine months before we're even born. And they're already taken. <laughs> Yes, it, our history is a unique part of California history that is undertold. That's why we do this, to share it with people. To share that we're a vibrant, living uh, culture that has a lot to offer. You know, like I always thought, you know, like our people lived here for centuries, and yet we left such a small for footprint. And yet, like I said, 1769 was when the first Europeans came, and everything's altered so much. And so, what we have to offer is that love of the earth, the conserving, the caretaking, and that's why we do this on Earth Day.